Hi guys, welcome to Sabonzi Academy. So in today's video, we'll be solving the question three of the 2020 Wasi June Commerce Theory questions. So we we'll begin with the question 3A. So question 3A, in the diagram, IJKL are points on a circle such that angle JIL is equal to 3Y and angle KML is equal to 2Y. If angle KLM is equal to 55 degrees, find the value of Y. So let's begin with the solution for our question 3A. So now we know that the sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degrees. So then we can say that 3Y plus the opposite angle, which is angle JKL, is equal to 180 degrees. So then we can say that angle JKL is equal to 180 minus 3Y. And we also know that the sum of two opposite angles of a triangle is equal to the exterior angle of that triangle. So then we can say that the sum of this plus this should be equal to this angle. And that angle is angle JKL. So we can also say that angle JKL is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles, which is 55 and 2Y. So angle JKL will be equal to 55 plus 2Y. So then, since here is JKL and here is JKL, we can say that 180 minus 3Y is equal to 55 plus 2Y. Now, when we group like terms, you have 150 minus 55 is equal to 2Y plus 3Y. And 2Y plus 3Y gives us 5Y is equal to, so 180 minus 55, we have 125. So to make y the subject, we divide both sides by the coefficients of y, which is 5. So we divide here by 5, and we divide here by 5 too. So 5 cancels 5, we have y is equal to 1, 2, 5 divided by 5, we have 25. So y is equal to 25. So therefore, we can say that y is equal to 25 degrees. Okay, so this brings us to the end of question 3a. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. So we'll be moving on to question 3b. So question 3b, given that tan x is equal to 1 and x is such that x is between 0 and 90, evaluate 1 minus sine squared x over cos x. So let's begin with the solution for our question 3b. Our tan x is equal to 1. Now 1 is the same as 1 over 1. So if we should draw our axis, we know that x is between 0 and 90. So x is an acute angle. So it should be between 0 and 90. So this would be our x. Now if we draw a right angle triangle, now if we draw a right angle triangle, we know that tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, take note. So our opposite is 1 and our adjacent is 1. So our opposite will be 1, our adjacent will be 1. And this will be our hypotenuse, so h. But we don't know h. We know from Pythagoras' theorem that h squared is equal to the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared. So then we can say that our h squared is equal to our opposite, which is 1. So 1 squared plus... 1 squared. So h squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared. We have 2. Now when we take the square roots of both sides, our square cancels our square roots. So our h will be equal to the square root of 2. So our h here will now be equal to the square root of 2. 
Now, when we find sine of x, we know sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And our opposite is 1. Our hypotenuse will be the square root of 2. Now, 1 over the square root of 2 is the same as root of 2 over 2. Also, when we find our cos x, our cos, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, is 1 over root 2. And this is also root 2 over 2. So we are evaluating 1 minus sine squared x all over cos x. Now this can be written as 1 minus. So sine squared x is the same as sine x squared. So sine x is root 2 over 2. So we have root 2 over 2 all squared divided by root 2 over 2. Now, when we expand, we have 1 minus, so root 2 over 2 all squared is the same as 2 over 4. And this is divided by root 2 over 2. Now, 2 over 4 is the same as 1 over 2. So we have 1 minus 1 over 2 all divided by root 2 over 2. 1 minus 1 over 2, we have 1 over 2. So we have 1 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Now we can rewrite this whole expression as, so we can rewrite this fraction as 1 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Now when we change the division sign to a multiplication sign, we'll have 1 over 2 times, so when you do that, this becomes our new numerator and this becomes our new denominator. So we have 2 divided by root 2. Now 2 cancels 2, we have 1 over root 2. So we can decide to rationalize this by multiplying here by root 2 and here by root 2. And when we do that, we have root 2 over 2. So this would be our final answer. This brings us to the end of question 3b. Now. If you have comments, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. In our next video, we'll be solving the question 4 of the 2020 Wasi Commerce Theory questions.